one on earth now knows that they can walk all over Joe Biden, and they know that most cities and towns have adopted this defund, dismantle, no bail law insanity of the Democratic Socialist Party. Here with reaction, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham is with us. Senator, a lot to, a, a lot to yeah. talk about tonight. They shot down our drone. What should yeah. our answer be? Well, we should hold them accountable and say that if you ever get near another uh, U.S. set flying in international waters, your airplane would be shot down. What would Ronald Reagan do right now? He would, he would start shooting Russian planes down if they were threatening our assets. American foreign policy is in free fall. I can't add much to what you've said. All I can tell you is that on multiple fronts, we're in a dangerous situation. Uh, weakness breeds provocation. They spy balloon over the United States, shooting down an American drone, multi-million dollar drone. They know they can get away with it. Mexico is blaming us for the fentanyl crisis. And Joe Biden is like a deer in the headlights. He needs to up his game quickly. Okay. Now, to what extent do you believe Joe's lack of reaction to the Chinese spy balloon and the fact Russia was watching the trip over Alaska, the yeah. trip down the coast of Canada, the trip into Idaho, Montana, Kansas, Missouri, mm -hmm. Kentucky, and then they made it to yeah. your great state of <laughs> South Carolina, and then finally yeah. shot, it got shot down. Uh, well, obviously, Putin was watching all of this. President Xi was testing us. God only knows what these lasers yeah. are in Hawaii. Do you have any insight into what they are? No, but it all started with uh, Afghanistan. When Biden got into power, he pulled out of Afghanistan, and that set everything else in motion. Uh, Obama's president, Putin invades uh, Ukraine, takes Crimea. Biden gets elected president, Putin's trying to dismantle Ukraine. Uh, the border is completely broken. The Mexican president is taunting the United States, belittling the Republican Party, claiming Mexico is not responsible for the poisoning of America through fentanyl, and our commander in chief is sitting around playing the fiddle while the world burns. So, President Biden, you're the Rodney Dangerfield of world leaders. Nobody respects you. And if you don't change your game and up your game, we're going to have World War III. Here's the next war that's coming. Israel is going to have to take military action to stop the Iranians from developing uh, enriched uranium to the point it can become a weapon. They're at 84 percent. All they have to do is get to 90 percent. We're not doing a damn thing about the Iranians trying to uh, develop a nuclear bomb uh, under our plain sight. I would like to know, we know that Russian drones are flying over Ukraine. Yeah. Why don't we shoot down two of theirs and send a message? You shoot down one of ours, we'll shoot down two the first time, <laughs> ten the next time. Why don't we do See, it now and send a react? Do it now. Well, what did, what did Trump do when uh, the Iranians were killing Americans all over the Mideast? He killed Soleimani, right? What did he do to take down the caliphate? He unleashed the military and the caliphate was destroyed in about three months. Do you believe for one minute that Russia would have done this on Trump's watch? Do you believe for one minute that Russia would have invaded really, Ukraine no. if Donald Trump I think, was I president think they had of the United healthy, States? I think they had a healthy, realistic fear of Donald Trump. There is no fear of Joe Biden. His policies are not working. We're being walked on. We're being crapped on. And we're about to have a major war because China is sizing up Biden. And they're going to go into Taiwan if we don't up our game in Ukraine. Biden's always late to the he, game. He He's late to give them finger, tanks. He won't lift a finger, Senator. Mark my words. Yeah. He wouldn't lift a finger. Last question. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I talk to a lot of my conservative friends, and they, they, they generally know that Putin is evil. They know Russia right. is a hostile regime. Uh, right. They o openly supported, you know, financial support. Joe Biden has steadfastly uh, per not permitted. Yeah, so let's count how many countries has uh, Russia invaded, right? Who has eight, 850 army bases around the world, right? That's right. You're witnessing a fall of an empire. All praises, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakudash. Yes, you see the fall of an empire, the family, they will never look in the mirror. Eh? He says, uh, Michael Jackson said, What? Look in the mirror. He said, The man in the mirror, that's you. Eh? You are the one that have destroyed the entire world, but you blaming somebody else, right? 
But anyway, family, we could care less. At the end of the day, it is the Lord that is working on our behalf. So let's give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father. Yahweh is His name, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's all about prophecy, family. It's all about prophecy. And family, we are family. We can't help it. The things are moving at the speed of light, and we need to glorify the name, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. He is the one operating on our behalf. He is about to send Yahweh Shai to put an end to all this nonsense. Yes, the Third World War, it is coming, and they are preparing for it. Let's give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh is his name, and his only begotten son, the King of Israel. Yahweh Shai, to you. The hopeful elect, I say, shall one and much double honors to my teachers from the great millstone that taught me this truth. Yes, and salutation, peace, love to all the brothers. Men, they are pushing the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, because we are about to go home. The end of this empire is coming down. And it's not going to be Russia. It's not going to be China. It's not going to be India. It's not going to be a multipolar world. It is Yahweh Shai's kingdom. The one the world ignorantly called Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. He's the one coming to take over this throne. Family, let's get the article. Yes, they are talking about shooting down. Let's just shoot 10 of Russians planes. Oh yeah, you're going to get the opportunity. Because the Lord said it. He prophesied. Family, the book of Isaiah 34, Jeremiah 51, Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 50. Family, America. And it's prophesied throughout the entire Holy Scriptures. And that's what it's all about. The end of this wicked kingdom is coming to an end. And yes, and we are rejoicing. There are what? Like Klaus Schwab, our favorite, favorite guy. Klaus Schwab from the WEF says what? Poly crisis. Meaning there will be multiple crises. In their mind, they honestly think they can control this crisis. But they're going to lose power. That's why family, you see in all the banks collapsing right in front of your eyes over a week family it's only been a few days now the swiss bank the swiss bank family that's where most of these rich folks have their money yes you and i family we don't have that luxury but we're not supposed to our riches is coming that's what we are waiting for all praises honor glory to the power of abraham yahweh bahashem yahweh Shai. the true riches that we need on this side is this word this is the true riches because we know that it says what? It says knowledge, wisdom is going to be the stability of the time and the strength of our salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All praises, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the true riches. That's the word of our king, Yahweh Shai, because he says, I am the word. First John, no, the book of John. Yes, he is the word. He comes in the volume of the book. Family, let's hear let's head the article. Family, oh yes. Things are escalating. Four articles, Lord willing, we can get through it. But before we do that, let's open it up with the book of Zephaniah chapter 2. Family, if you can see it, pray that the Lord will give you the eyes out. This is the time to seek the Lord. While he may be found, he says, see it. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. It says, gather yourselves eh? together. Yea, gather together. Oh, nation, no desire. He's speaking to the Israelites. We are the nations that this kingdom hates. The so-called black, the so-called Latinos, Negroes, African Americans, Caribbean. We are at the bottom of society. We are the last to be hired, the first to be fired. That's right. We are the nations, no desire. But we are about to family, about family, what the Lord is about to do for us, family. Oh, it says what? This says it says it says you'll not be able to contain it. The hopeful elect, hmm? the hopeful elect, the fact that our King is going to be in the midst of us. To me, that's that that's plenty enough for me. Yahweh Shai is going to be in the midst of us. All praises, honor, glory to our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who is bringing righteousness upon this planet. He says here. Before the decree bring forth, you hear that? Before the decree bring forth, that's his judgment. You see, it is coming. He said, before it come forth, listen to what the Lord says, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as shaft, because he's bringing fire to cleanse the land. He says, before all this happen, let's continue to read. He says, before the fierce anger of the Lord, Yahweh, come upon you, 
Are you listening to this? What did the Lord want you to do? He says, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, what does the Lord want you to do? He says what? Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. He says, seek righteousness, seek meekness, if may, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Again, let me repeat that again. Fam, let's repeat that. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, all ye meek. He's speaking to the Israelites, the elect. He says here, of the earth. He says, which have wrought his judgment. Hmm? He says, seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. All these things are going on at the same time. Third World War is at the corner. Yes. And then you have the banking issues okay the financial uh, uh crisis that is popping from every angle family this is going to be worldwide you see the same way the the what is the called that thing that spread in 20, 2020 yes that everywhere around the world family yeah, yes 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 you know what i'm talking about the pandemic the same thing is about to happen and family this is leading to what exactly the digital currency that's where it's leading to but in order to function, you have to have your what? Your CHIP under your skin. So the Lord is telling you before he, before the decree, before the judgment, before the destruction comes, yes, seek here the Lord. Because what we are about to go through, family, the Jacob's trouble, the tribulation is already here. The Jacob's trouble, family, you're going to need protection. You're going to need the covering of the Lord, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. That's the time that we are about to enter into all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem. Because family, we are rejoicing. Yes. The world is mourning, but uh, we are rejoicing. Because family, we know that this kingdom is coming to an end. And we are the next. That's why right, We are the one the Lord is going to bless us with. Salvation. The new bodies. And family, on top of that, the rulership. Ha! That's what we are looking forward to. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. Hmm? Call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakotash. He says here, first article. Hmm? Let's read a bit of this. It says here, the U.S. must start shooting down Russian planes, according to Senator Lindsey Graham, who appeared on the Hannity show to demand an immediate and irreversible escalation of the conflict in Ukraine. What do you think is going to happen? You start shooting down Russia. Uh, Russian airplanes, eh? You are across the Atlantic Ocean. You are fighting a proxy war against Russia, a nuclear arm, and you're going to start shooting their, you're going to start shooting their airplanes down. Oh, family, brace yourself. Brace yourself. It's going to be, it's going to get bumpy. Hmm? It's going to be wild, and we're going to praise the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Because, family, the destruction that the Lord is bringing, yes, the entire world will know that, yes, this is the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Yahawashai, the creator of the heaven and the earth, and his only begotten son, the redeemer, the deliverer of Israel, Yahawashai. Oh, family, we are rejoicing every moment mm -hmm. to finally to see the fall of this kingdom. Oh, we cannot wait. It says here, it says, shoot, it says, it says here, the U.S. must start shooting down Russia planes, according to Senator Lindsey Graham, who appear on the Hannity show to demand an immediate and irreversible escalation of the conflict in Ukraine following downing of an unarmed U.S. drone over the Black Sea by two Russian Su-27 aircraft. In a video statement, Graham called for the U.S. military to start shooting down Russia planes flying over Ukraine as a show of support for Ukrainian government. You hear that, family? You have to love it. Hmm? You have to love it. That's what we want, family. Escalation, escalation, escalation. And now here, what uh, was the uh, uh, UK Prime Minister have to say? Hmm? China is challenging the world order. Eh? As we speak, family, Xi Jinping, the pr Chinese president, will be traveling to Russia. Hmm? Do you all know what is happening? Because the Prime Minister of UK, Prime Minister of Australia, Prime Minister of, uh, what is it called, uh, of... Uh, uh, oh, sorry, the, United, United, uh, the President of the United States family just had a meeting. That's right. It's called AUKUS meeting. They are thinking about putting submarine in Australia. Mm -hmm. 
a nuclear submarine in Australia to what? To surround China. So family, the Lord, the Lord is about to do all his pleasure. He told you there will be third world war, right? That's right. He told, you, he, told, he told us. He said before it happens, he tells us of it. That's why family, he says, they that make mention of the Lord. Family, I can't contain this. I can't contain it. Yes, he said, they that make mention of the Lord. Isaiah 62. He says what? They shall not hold their breath. Let's bring it up before we bring this article. Let's go to Isaiah 62. Oh, family, we are living in a beautiful time. Isaiah chapter 62. It says here. Hmm? It says, Isaiah chapter 62 verse. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Speaking to, speaking to the Israelite. Jerusalem were people before it became a place. It says, which shall never hold their peace. You hear that? We will never hold our peace. Hmm? Because family, if the Lord blessed you with the talent, gave you this word to teach his people family, the Israelite family, you take pleasure in this. Yes. The word, it burns. It's like fire. It burns in your body. Family, you can't contain it. He says here, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace. Day nor night, ye that make mention of the Lord Yahweh, you hear that it says, Ye that make mention of the Lord Yahweh, keep no silence. The Lord said, We should never shut up, we should continuously call upon his name. Because why? Why is the Lord saying that? It says, Yeah, and give him no rest. Why is he saying that we should not give him no rest? He says, Till he establish, till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. All praises, honor, and uh, all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shem. Because why? Jerusalem, we are not a praise on the earth yet. We haven't received our new bodies yet. We are not ruling yet. So until we, family, we never gonna stop praising the name of the Lord. The fact that He has given the salvation is already in our hearts, family. That's what this word does for you. Does to you. Hmm? It rejuvenates you, make you young, family. You feel like you can fly. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So, family, we are not stopping hmm? until this kingdom falls. Yes, we're chanting down Babylon. Oh, yes. He says the UK Prime Minister says China is challenging the world order. Family, again, China, Russia, none of them is going to sit on the throne. Never in history have we had. Three empires ruling at the same time. You can't have China, Russia, and India, all this multipolar world. No, it's never going to happen. America is the last kingdom before Yahweh Shai shows up. That's right. America, Babylon the Great, is the last kingdom. Russia, China, they're going to take Babylon the Great down. But it is going to be Yahweh Shai's kingdom. Immediately after Babylon the Great goes down, it's going to be our king, Yahweh Shai's kingdom along with the Israelite, the elect. That is what is coming. He says here, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said that China is now actively challenging the international world order, which is something the UK must take seriously. He said that China's growing influence now represents a challenge to the world order and call for Western nations to stand up to the increasingly powerful Eastern nation. No, the Lord gave you a time to rule. Because in your heart, you said that you thought you were going to be a lady forever. Family, let's go to the book of Isaiah 47 quickly. The book of Isaiah, Isaiah 47. Because they thought, she thought she was going to be a lady forever. Let's hear what the Lord says. Here, yeah. Isaiah chapter 47 verse 3. Verse 7, sorry. Isaiah 47 verse 7. Isaiah 47 verse 7. It says, and thou said, I shall be a lady. Eh? A lady, that word, a lady, goes into the Hebrew word. The original word is what? Let's hear it. The original Psalms word. Psalms 8, 1376. Gevir. 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 Meaning what? A lord or ruler. Okay? Lord or ruler. It says, And thou said, I shall be a lord or ruler forever. So thou did not lay these things to thine heart. Eh? Neither did remember the latter end of it. You honestly thought your kingdom is going to go on forever. Have you lost your mind? Read the book of Daniel tells you all the kingdom that will come and rule. And eventually the Lord removed them because he told you that he is the one that ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he chooses, including the basis of men. You are the basis of men. Yes. 
That's the Lord. What makes you think your kingdom is going to go on forever? This is not your movie. You are only playing your role. You are only playing a small part. Hey? America is what? Less than what? 250 years old. Hey? You are only supposed to rule for a little time. Because we, the reason why the Lord punished us. He brought us here. Hey? He brought us to the North Americas to punish us. And then, you see, we came here on slave ships. You know how we are getting out of here? Yes, the chariot. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. The so-called UFOs, that's how we are getting out of here. Yes, you don't have to believe it. You do not have to believe it. Yes, that's how we are getting out of here. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. It says here, and thou said, I shall be a lady forever. So thou did not lay these things to thy heart. Neither did remember the latter end of it. Therefore, hear now this. Hear what the Lord is saying. Therefore, hear now this. Thou that art given to pleasures, that's right, that dwellest carelessly, eh? that sayest in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. That's how you feel. Yeah, America, the hedge money, yeah. That's why a house on a hill, all these titles that you brought upon yourself, yes. The world power, the world hedge money, yes. Democracy here. Family, these people are very proud. But hear what the sovereign Lord says. He says, therefore, hear now this. Thou that are given to pleasure, pleasures, that dwellest carelessly. Hmm? You can do whatever your heart desire. You can marry a goat. You can marry a dog. You can have sex with animal. You can worship whatever your heart desires. Yes, this is what the Lord is saying about you. He says here, I am, no, I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow. Neither shall I know the loss of children. This, this is how you feel. You will never lose anybody. Yes. You have all the riches. Nobody can bring you down. You are very proud. But hear what the Lord says. He says, but these two things, eh? These two things. What are the two things? Let's go back again. Therefore, let's read verse 8 again. Let's take it down. Let's take the time and soak it all in. Family, this is the Lord's work. Eh? Therefore, hear now this. Thou that are given to pleasures, eh? that dwellest carelessly, that says in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. Hmm? That's, pr that's, that's pride right there. Hmm? I shall not sit as a widow. Hmm? That's one. Neither shall I know the loss of children. You hear? You said that you would never sit as a widow, number one. And you will never know what it feels like to lose children. But hear what the Lord says. It says, verse 9, it says, But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. The loss of children... And widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection. For the what? For the multitude of thy sorceries and your witchcraft. And for thy great abundance of thine enchantment. All the wickedness that you have done. And your sorceries. Eh? Deceiving people using your media, your television, your movies, eh? your science. Eh? To fool majority of the people. But the Lord says, none of, that, none of those things are going to help you anymore. Eh, your prognostic, uh, what is it, uh, your, 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 your witchcraft and your, uh, what is it called, uh, what, what's their name, I can't remember now, it's leaving me. But family, whatever witchcraft these people were using at one point, it was working for everybody, yes. Yeah, they lie and lie and lie and lie and people bought it, they used the media to lie. But now, majority of the people, they don't even follow down, they don't watch mainstream media anymore. It's not working anymore. Because why? It's the end of your kingdom. That's the power of our Lord, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rekakudash. Yes. So, as you see, they are threatening China and they are threatening Russia. They want war with those two superpowers. But this time, they've bit more than they can chew. They actually believe they're going to hold on to what? They are hedge money. They are what? World order. Yes, where America is the sole superpower. Those days are gone. Eh? Those days are the days that you, you should go to this is some of these developing countries like Iraq, Iraq, Afghanistan. Eh? And nobody said anything. You grab your allies. It's always been your, you use NATO. That's right. But guess what? Now there are new, new, new. <laughs> my family. Now there are just there's not just one power in town. Now the Lord has built multiple powers to take you down. 
this is the lowest movie yes this is the lowest movie nobody's gonna take the credit for it no because the lord said it it was gonna happen and it's perfection and the entire world is gonna see read the read the revelation chapter 18 family if you get a chance babylon the great the fall of babylon the great is gonna be spectacular it's going to be spectacular. So here, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said that China is now actively challenging the international world order, which is something the UK must take seriously. Unfortunately, there's nothing they can do about it. But family, listen to this. This is what happened in the in the in the Swiss. Uh, uh, the Credit Suisse is the real thing. Family, the banks are collapsing right in front of our eyes. But family, this is controlled demolition. Because at the end of the day, everything is leading to Revelation 13, 16. And we are warning you and warning you and warning you. There's a reason why the Lord put this word in our mouth to, to warn you. That's right. They are controlling the demolition. Yes, all of a sudden you wake up one day and family, all the banks are collapsing at the same time. Come on. Okay, so family, we know what they are doing. They are going to introduce the CBDC. That's where everything is heading to. Okay, but we are here to tell you that it is not for you. The elect is not for you. You have to trust in the process. Trust in the process. The Lord didn't give you this word eh, to abandon you. No. You have to be strong in the faith. Have faith, family. He said the just shall do and live by faith. It may it look like we are losing the family. No, no, no. The Lord will not forsake us. Okay? But our job is to tell you to wait on the Lord. Mm? That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Everything is going to work out. Oh, yes. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. The elect are going to be straight. All you have to do is continue to trust in the process. Yeah, they're going to bring the solution. It's going to be chaotic, and then they're going to bring out the solution in the form of what? A digital ID. But it's not for you to take it. The moment that thing goes in your skin, you're saying that the Lord is no longer your power. Now you have made this devil here, Esau, Edom, your God. And the Lord will kill you. Revelation 10, sorry, Revelation 14.10 tells you exactly how he's going to kill you. He's going to rain lasers, brimstone. He's going to turn you into a barbecue. It's going to be a slow death. So we are here to warn you not to take it. The Lord is going to make a way for us. You got to trust the process. Here, let's read a bit of this. It says, panic. This is from Zero Hedge. It says, panic, meltdown, people crying. It says here, Forget SVB. SVB is what the Silicon Valley Bank that, that collapsed a few days ago. Or oh, I think, is it last Friday? It says here, credit suits is the real thing. And that could bring it all down. And that is perhaps why the world, his pet rabbit, decided to buy some counterparty risk protection on the Swiss bank. But here, this family says, uh, credit suits has been a known issue for years. However, today's rather public refusal by the Saudis to throw any more money at the Swiss bank could have been the straw on this camel's back, sending the stock to new record lows. Credit Suisse, which traded after the late-day statement from SNB and Finna, shows the stock was not impressed. Okay, so family... Everything is collapsing right in front of our eyes, okay? And the key thing here, look at this. Everything is family. Look, look, look at the look at the graph here. It's all falling apart. But this is a controlled demolition. But they honestly think they're gonna control this crisis. In their mind, they think they're gonna control the crisis. The family is gonna is gonna get worse. And they're going to lose control because the Lord told us in the book of Job. Let's bring it up. Let's bring it up. The book of Job. Job 20. The book of Job 20 verse. Uh, is it Job 20? Maybe it's Job 5. Please bear with me. Is it Job 5? My goodness, man. Yes, this is what the Lord says. Job, tw Job 5. 
Verse 12, it says here, he, de de he disappointed the devices of the crafty. Who is the crafty? The wicked. Esau, Edom, the one ruling right now. Okay? Because family, they have this model. It says what? The rise of the phoenix. So they're going to collapse the system and build back better. The fourth industrial revolution. But they didn't know that it's the trap the Lord has set for them. They are not going to rule anymore, family. The Lord is going to disappoint them. The Lord is bringing everything to an end. Yes, it says here, he disappointed the device of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform what? Their enterprise. What is their enterprise? Their new world order. Family, we serve the most high Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The one that created the heaven and the earth. The one that gave them their breath. Eh? The one that made them wicked. He wrote this movie. Our power wrote this movie and gave everybody their script. Everybody is in their lot. So your job is to trust in the process. The victory is already written for us. Family, the new rulership is belong, it belongs to the Israelites. Let's go to, let's go to, let's finish off with this. Family, let's finish off this. Let's go to the book of, uh, no, 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra chapter 6. Verse 7, let's pick it up. It says, Then I consider, 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 6 says, Then I considered these things, and they all were made through me alone. That's our power. And through none other, by me also they shall be what? Ended. And by none other. You hear that? Verse 7, Then answered I and said, What shall be the pattern asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? You hear that? The end of the first, that's Esau's kingdom. This is their kingdom. The so-called white man, that's, this is his kingdom. It says here, listen to the answer. Remember the question that Ezra asked uh, the angel Uriel? It says here, Then answered I and said, What shall be the pattern asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Hear the answer. Verse 8, And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. We are following Esau's kingdom. The moment the Lord brought it, king, brings this kingdom to an end, we are Lord willing, we are among the numbers we are taking over. Yahweh Shai's kingdom, the righteous kingdom is following Esau's kingdom. The world is not coming to an end. This wicked rulership is being removed and Yahweh Shai's kingdom is going to be on this planet. This earth is going to return back to the garden of Eden. The Israelite will be ruling Lord willing, we are among the numbers. So family, I will leave it there. I hope you are edified. I hope you got something out of it. Rejoice, family. We want chaos. That's right. We want the system to collapse. So the king, Yahweh Shai, to come and set everything in order. So with that, shall, uh, with that, our praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His name is Yahweh. And his only begotten son, the king of Israel, Yahweh Shai, and to you, the hopeful elect, I say shalom.